<sighs> She's moving away. Oh boy. Okay, me and Ben. Nice 
Why is that thing still alive? So she's... the same sort of Moloch as Bianfu? You're Grimoire, right? <sighs> We've been looking for you. We need your help. <sighs> Who are you? I'm Velvet. I know your witch friend. Oh... Grim, so wonderful to see you. It's been forever! Ah, you two. Still as outlandish a pair as ever, I see. How exactly do you know her? Witch training? She was an upperclassman. And? We found this fascinating ancient tome, and we were hoping you could read it for us. Goodness, Mogilu. You of all people joining a team? I didn't know you had it in you. Eh, <sighs> they keep me entertained. Well, I don't need entertainment. Bien! Come on, Grim! Isn't there any way you can help us? It's not the kind of thing I do. Oh, what a shame. Things happen. Well, we tried, didn't we? Maybe you need some... incentivizing. Do it. I'm serious. I bet you are. <laughs> Your eyes tell me you're dangerous. Trouble follows you like a hawk tails a rabbit. And at my age, trouble is something I'd rather avoid. How old are you? Ask me again and you'll get a firework in the tush. Oof. Uh, my apologies. It appears we've wasted our time. A walk on the beach is never wasted, but sorry. <laughs> well, how did you learn to read the ancient tongue? Are there books for studying it or something? My, my. Are you actually thinking of learning it on your own? Well, I love reading, and I want to learn more about history. Besides, we need what's in this book. You have passion, child. I'll give you that. Not to mention you want to be helpful to Velvet, don't you, kid? Yeah... 
My tuition isn't cheap, you know. You will teach me? No, I won't. But I admire your dedication enough to read it for you. Now where's this book? Here it is, ma'am. You needn't be so formal. Oh, uh, y yes, ma'am. Er, uh, not ma'am. Right. Let's see what we're looking at here. The language of ancient Avarost. <laughs> Had to be the hard one, of course. A lot of wear and tear, too. This'll take some time. We're in a hurry. That may well be, but this isn't the place for study. Let's move to someplace more comfortable. Hmm, you've redeemed yourself, young man. There's a village called Haria just a little ways away. That works. Thank you. Fine. Haria Village. Whatever gets the job done. Oh. Oops. I apologize if I'm being rude, but I have to ask. You're not Amanoch the Empyrean, are you? Of course I'm not. What would even make you ask such a thing? A shop in Isolt was selling Amanoch figurines that looked just like you. Oh, that. I distinctly remember whispering to the shopkeeper in his sleep, telling him not to sell those things. You showing up in his dreams probably only convinced him you were the real deal. You should sue for his use of your likeness and get proper compensation from that shopkeeper. Forget it. It's no concern. Yeah, you're right. It's not like they'd ever sell anyway. Oh, you think a figurine of mine wouldn't sell? You got this whole somber ennui thing going on. A figurine needs to be cute. Like me! Then how about I turn you into a product? <laughs> me? Really? Oh, yes. I'll have you stuffed and mounted. But since it'd be a unique piece, I'd have to price it a bit higher. M mounted? No, no, count me out! Oh, you're no fun. Now, what was it we were talking about? Whether or not you are the Empyrean Amenoch. Ah, yes, that's right. I'm no Empyrean. I'm just a simple girl. <sighs> it would be hard for anyone to worship an Empyrean like me, right? That's true. <clears throat> oh, uh, I mean, it just seems like you're the type who can see through anything, so... Perhaps an Empyrean seems less intimidating from a certain point of view. You're saying I'm scarier than an Empyrean? Not scarier, exactly. Just more of a savvy sort of woman. That's not a bad answer, but it won't get you out of the doghouse. Well, that was a thing. Why did that... Oh, hello, Chish. From what we heard in Isult, demons are attacking villages, and more people are growing upset with the Abbey. So I hadn't expected things in Haria Village to be so laid back. They might be on their best behavior because you're accompanied by an exorcist. Huh. I didn't know you could see the world in more than just black and white. The Abbey wouldn't entrust my responsibilities to someone who couldn't see beyond the surface. I have seen many things in my work. I've beheld both the light and the darkness in the world of men. Hmm. Despite that, no, because of that, I won't turn away from the wrongs that I encounter. Moreover, I have faith. I believe there is good in all our souls. The darkness, huh? Yes, like you. You're awfully direct. I can't deal with this anymore. What's the matter? 
Everyone's sick of all these fruit flavor gels, right? Um... So, I made gels using the giant cacao beans only found here on this island. It gave them a nice bitter chocolate taste. But people complain that they weren't avant-garde enough. Ugh, chocolate flavored gels, how prosaic, bah! This got me fuming! So I caught some Maiden Bonita fish you find around here, ground them up, and made some gels with them. You put fish into chocolate gels? Well, people do braise meat with chocolate. Chocolate and fish may go surprisingly well together. Exactly! It was the discovery of a century! The Bonito Flakes crunchiness and the gel's gumminess made for an exquisitely bad combo, which made it interesting. So if you made an innovative new type of gel, why are you so angry? That's exactly my problem. I outdid myself. Now I need to make my gel's world debut as amazing as they are. So I thought up the ultimate plan. And that is? I'll put my Chocanito gels in toilets all over the world. I'll call it the Great Chocanito Toilet Gambit. No one will go to the bathroom without finding my gels. I think everyone will have a lot of fun. So, genius, right? <laughs> yeah, it's weird, but I think it's funny too. Right? Uh, I knew that kids would get it. Who's a kid? But all the adults in my village called it silly and lowbrow. They forbade me from selling my Choco Nito gels at all. Isn't that just horrible? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Aw, oh, man. Things used to be so much better. Mom would make me dinner, and all I had to do was go, 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 go. And everyone would smile and praise me. I don't want to become the kind of grown-up who can't find any fun in looking for gels in toilets. Well, this was something. Like, wow. Some of these interactions you can find are just... We could use a place to stay. Any rooms open? Yep. Just finished cleaning, in fact. You can help yourself to that room there. All right, time to start deciphering this scroll. Let's wait somewhere outside so Grimm can concentrate. Um, do you think maybe I could stay and watch? I really do want to study the ancient tongue. I promise I'll be quiet and not get in your way, teacher. What did you just say, child? Uh, that I'd be quiet and... No, what did you call me? Teacher? You said you didn't want to be called ma'am, so I thought maybe that'd work. Yes, satisfactory. All right, I'll teach you how to read ancient Averost. Thank you so much, teacher! We'll leave you two alone then. Let us know if anything comes up. And I'm alone again. So she digs being called teacher. Well played, Laffy said. She wasn't so fond of ma'am, so I guess he figured he needed an alternative. You can tell how badly he wanted to help her with the languagey work. I think our Moloch boy's finally finding himself. So it would seem. Listen, I don't know what they told you in Isolt, but our village has its own traditions. This village is under the divine protection of the Empyrean Amenoch. For unbroken centuries, a line of his priestesses have guided us. They're tasked with performing the sacred rites of worship. And sometimes, they even deliver us his words and will. And there's still a priestess today? Of course! And her daughter is training to become our next priestess. Although, I sometimes feel they push themselves too hard. Both mother and daughter are giving their all for Haria. But the Abbey doesn't care about any of that. And they stole our temple from us. By force? An exorcist named Teresa came and heard us out. But from the very beginning, she always intended on taking our temple. 
Her words may have been kind, but that doesn't change the fact that she demanded that we worship her god, Enomenat. In all the years we've worshipped Amenoch, not once did we ever try to force others to adopt our beliefs. Why haven't I seen this priest as she's talking about? It sounds like deciphering the text might take some time. We should be prepared to wait it out here a while. Hopefully it'll all be worth it in the end. I hope so too, but ancient Avarost is complex. It's not just a matter of knowing the grammar and vocabulary. Oh? Then how exactly do you read it? I'm not sure about the specifics myself, but from what I understand, you kind of have to intuit a lot of it. A language based on guesswork? Thanks, old dead people. You're officially the worst. What connection do you think there is between the violent demon Teresa mentioned and this village? Couldn't tell you. Could there have been a demon blight breakout here? This village doesn't look like it's been attacked, but... Whatever it is. If it keeps the Abbey's eyes off us for once, that's good enough for me. You really will use anything and everything towards your own aims, won't you? Yep, and that includes you. As I'm sure you've noticed. <laughs> Local religions. The Abbey sure knows how to oppress the populace. I'd imagine that comes part and parcel with spreading the good word. Other gods would only get in the way. From what we overheard, it sounds like they've taken over Amenoch's temple, Polymedes, to use as their base of operations. Sealing it off would be provocative enough. But straight up taking it over? Not a lot of so-called reason to that. Unless... Do you think they need it for some other purpose? Shrug. Ancient Avarost, you have the obstinacy of a spurned lover who refuses to move on. Even for you, teacher? It's this one crucial line. I can't wrap my head around it. Er, uh, well, from what you've taught me so far, it looks like it says... Sa, Popo, Mucho... Sanchong. Correct, but if you merely translate it word for word, it ends up saying, The parent hates tomatoes, the child eggplants. I doubt those have much to do with Enominat. <laughs> yeah. Their grammar is nothing like ours. Sometimes you have to reorder the words, and even then the meaning can require leaps of logic and flashes of intuition. Reordering? So like... San San? Pocho Pocho? Pocho Musan? Pocho Musan? Can you read it that way? Pocho Musan. Now where did you get that from? These words are lined up, like they repeat. And when I read this part that same way, it just felt right. Pocho Muson. Hmm, if that's repeated here, then the passage turns into. The Nameless Empyrean. Empyrean! Ho oh, ho, oh, that has to refer to Innominat. I think we're on to something. All right, so if we apply this rule here, then. Hmm, hmm. It would seem to be a book of. Children's counting songs. It's not about Enominat? What matters is what the song says, child. And I think you will be very interested in the words. Yeah, they need for some practice. I wonder if they've made any progress yet. Shall we go check on them? Do you plan? 
plan on just giving up? Polymedes is Amenoch's temple. The priestess isn't the only one whose job it is to protect that temple. It's the duty of everyone born in this village. Why did the Abbey need Amenoch's temple badly enough to risk causing this much unrest? But how will we protect our village from the demons if the Abbey abandons us? Besides, we won't be able to do business with the people of his salt anymore. Our faith in Amenoch has nothing to do with the demons. When the priestess gets back, I'm going with her to protest. The demon blight changed everything. Will we never be able to return to the way things were? The way things were. Really? I tried to get up there too. And I only have to come here? Oh, 